Okay, hi, hi, ha, 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 ha. What? What? Ha. Hi, everyone. I'm Hannah. Hi. What was that? Hi, I'm Jake. You okay? I'm I'm good. I just don't want to talk about what we're talking about now. Oh, well, we're going to talk about it. We have today for you, uh, I was going to call it a special treat. It's not. It's yucky. Um, this is Milo Yiannopoulos, uh, uh, who is, um, a form former... Uh, a uh, gay man, a uh, Republican, a uh, right-wing grifter, uh, and is now a straight man, a uh, Republican right-wing grifter. Um, so if you don't know Milo, he rose to fame sort of in the uh, uh, infancy of the anti-SJW uh, uh, arc, the 2015-16 era of YouTube. Um, he basically shock-jocked his way around. was like, I'm gay, I like black dicks. And then, and then was like, but also I like Donald Trump. And everyone was like, oh, cool, a pick me. We'll pick him. And uh, so he got picked for a while. And then um, uh, he went on Drunken Peasants, uh, uh, OG Drunken Peasants, and um, basically outed himself as someone who is sort of not terribly against, uh, 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 let's, say, let's say, inappropriate relations between um, adults and uh, non-adults. Um, uh, uh, that, that gets a little, a little deeper than I'm going to go, but, uh, you can look it up for yourself if you'd like to. He got, um, roundly and probably, uh, appropriately, uh, uh, canceled by the right. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't that surprising? Um, and so, so it's basically been like not making any money. I think he tried to do a book. That didn't work out. I think he embezzled some money at some point. I could be wrong. Uh, there was something to do with his, uh, uncouth uh, uh, usage of funds at some point. Um, so at this point, um, he is not doing very well financially, uh, but still has this uh, little bit of a following. And uh, so he got engaged to uh, a man uh, because uh, Milo is, or I, <laughs> I don't want to, okay. I'm going to say was just because uh, I think it's important to uh, to at least <laughs> at least pay lip service to what he is saying is the reality of his sexuality. So uh, 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 even with the best of intentions, I can only say I'm going to give him the deference to, st to say an ex-gay man, but I'm going to always emphasize the air quotes. Um, he's, he, he is uh, starting this video having thrown his, his, his engagement ring into the ocean. I believe he actually says that in this video. He said it before. And uh, uh, he is now going to start a new project, and that is the video, the announcement of his new project, um, where he is no longer a gay man. He's a straight man for Christ. And so we'll see what happens. He was married, not engaged. Well, he called it his, he called it his engagement ring. I could, maybe, maybe not. Uh. Today is my one year straight anniversary. Wait, it's been one year since he came out as straight? I guess so. When's uh, your straight anniversary, Jake? When did you, when did you come out as straight? Um... That's actually a, a better story than you think it is. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm I intrigued. Was, you I, have my attention. I was, I was in, I believe, I believe it was, uh, oh, that it used to be a Mexican restaurant uh, 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 in the place that uh, that one restaurant we just went to is now. You know, what, you know what it was called? Do you remember what it was called? It was a Mexican restaurant. Anyway, I was in a Mexican restaurant with my mom, and she, and I'm like, 10, 11, and she's like, do you like girls? And then I told her, I do like girls. And then she embarrassed me in front of the waitress and said, oh my God, my son just said he likes girls. <laughs> and she was like, she was like, she was like, you know, 17, probably the waitress. So she was like, she was like just young enough for me to be like, oh, she's pretty. And then she immediately embarrassed me in front of that girl. So, uh, which of course there was, you know, there was no, no chance there for an 11 year old me, hopefully, with that uh, almost adult <laughs> woman. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so technically I came out as straight once. Technically. I'm that very, is my straight, my straight anniversary. I don't remember the date. But, I'm uh, very proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did come out as straight once to my mom. She's probably watching. I hope she remembers that. <laughs> the year from the day I said I was going to put sodomy and lust behind me and live. <laughs> hey, motherfucker, I haven't put sodomy and lust behind me, dude. What are we talking about, bro? I Go think, on. I think, 
Milo and his roommate regularly put sodomy behind him, if you know what I mean. I found out that sodomy is not only butt stuff. So, uh, sodomy, so, I think, is any sort of any, uh, any, any that unwholesome sexual act. Oral is yeah. sodomy, okay? Yeah, it is. Just letting you know. I engage in sodomy. Batman for, does not. Batman's a hero, okay? No sodomy for Batman. Someone please. in chat just wrote harder, please. Okay. According to God's wishes for me. And since <laughs> I did that, everything in my life has begun to get better. I... Uh, do I want to even go here? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. No, let's go. I shouldn't. Let's do it. Because the way someone behaves and acts and their affect is not... Necessarily indicative of your sexuality, okay? I want to be clear about that. You don't have to be feminine to be gay or trans or anything. You don't have to True. be masculine to be straight. I'm, nope. I'm... I agree with you. He has changed his effect quite a bit. Yes. But even then, it's not like... Milo doesn't strike you as the straightest dude ever. No. Right, no. that's what I'm saying. Like, like... No, he doesn't. Because he used to be, he used to do, he used to, I think he used to play into it quite a bit to be like, I'm super bubbly gay, but also yeah. I like MAGA, you know what I mean? And, and so now he's like really pulling it back. And even so, I'm like, oh, that dude, that dude's a little, little flamboyant at minimum. Sure. Right. I didn't wake up today especially celebratory, but rather... Prayerful. Did he I... film this in the corner of an olive garden? <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting on his soup, okay? The soup is delicious. The yeah. the, 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 the Italian wedding soup at, uh, at at Olive Garden. They get a lot of shit, but I mean, dipping a breadstick in the Italian wedding soup at Olive Garden is a delight. I'll die. You know what? Okay, I'm going to say this. Olive, oh, garden, no. olive Garden is overpriced uh -oh. for what it is, but I like it Olive is. Garden. Okay? I would rather, I would say rather go to a, a genuine... Italian place, but if I'm feeling it, I mean, I mean, come on, they're, they're pretty good. Where else am I going to get deep fried lasagna, okay? I could probably deep fry you some lasagna. Okay, then what are we doing here? Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Hannah, do you consider yourself gay? I'm bisexual, so. I mean, that's, that's. Some people use gay for shorthand. Yeah. Some people uh, use gay to mean any mean, sort of, like, queer, non I was going to say, I think, yeah. I, think, I think gay sometimes is used as a catch-all for queer, but, but which just means, again, queer is a catch-all for, I'm in the LGBT community. But some people don't like that word because it was yeah. it for was a while a sort of pejorative, but yeah. uh, it seems to be uh, uh, quite taken back, so that's cool. I'm aware that I have a responsibility to share this gift apparently he's got a responsibility he has a responsibility but he's not going to do it for free okay you gotta if you're give put the glasses him on if you're gonna put the glasses on you gotta look through them no it's just for look okay? these are just the readers you're just the readers if i wear these do you believe that i'm straight and cis <laughs> no you look like you're you're a gay librarian that's a good aesthetic. You look like a lesbian librarian right This is now. what I'm going to go for. Which, I, I got to be honest, is not the least hot thing you could be. So, librarians chat. are weird. Wait, wait. Why are li librarians hot? What is that about? No one goes to a library and has seen a hot librarian in real life. They're unassuming. It's the idea that, like, they're going to sit there quietly and read books, but you can, like... You could fuck? But they have, they have a secret wild side underneath... Like they're going to give you a really quiet bloge? Not, not necessarily. Oh. I don't know. I think aesthetically they are, but I didn't, I didn't really go beyond that. Like, Hot Librarian is hot. Velma is has that whole thing going for her, which is why Velma is the hottest okay. character. My but plan is to notch up the witchiness as I get older. Just get witchier? Yeah. When I'm 60, uh, I want every child in the neighborhood to think there's a chance I might turn them into a frog. There's a place in Traverse City that sells uh, witch things. Okay. So, so we should take you there. Librarians do oral, fact. I, frankly, everyone should do oral. I mean, every person should do oral. Yeah. Giving, receiving, that's a thing. Your mouth is there for a reason. That's why God put it there. To suck on somebody else's genitals. 
That's a fact. It doesn't matter what the genitals look like as long as they're in and around your mouth. With others. I have only managed to... to get where I am, to do this. Well, for two reasons, really. One is prayer. Peeling to... <laughs> Oh, did you see he had a copy of the Turner Diaries with him uh, at his hotel? He took a picture of, like, his side table at his hotel where he had set up, like, a crucifix and his Bible and a bunch of other shit. And he had a copy of the Turner Diaries there. Do you know what the Turner Diaries is? Uh, uh the, uh, it's an overthrow of the United States government, right? It's basically like a, fascist like a, fan fiction yeah. that was written back in the day. And it's about... Uh, neo-Nazis rising up and killing all the liberals, non-whites, Jewish people, um, yeah. gay people, uh, in what's called the Day of the Rope. If and if you ever want to hate reality, I've never go, read it. I've you, only I've only got the, like the 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 yeah. spark notes of of cultural identity if, to it. If you ever want to just go on a report spree, go ahead and look on twit Twitter and go hashtag Day of the Rope and see the worst of society. <laughs> Let's do it right now. Unless they've cleaned it up since the last time I looked, it's full of people calling for the murder of people they don't like. Yike! Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of people saying the um the 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 <laughs> a lot of boogaloo people. Um, uh, a lot of people saying the uh, uh, vaccinations uh, mm. is. Is the thing. <sighs> Our Heavenly Father for the strength to resist urges. <laughs> Milo's definitely what? still fucking his husband, right? Yeah. Where... Well, I hope so. I hope they're. I hope his husband hasn't been a victim of his grift. Yeah. yeah. And the other is thanks to. To you guys, the viewers, the listeners, both mine and here the True, True News family as well. Um, it's also been... What's the day of the rope? The day of the rope is the day that all the neo-Nazis in the book The Turner Diaries rise up and slaughter all their political enemies, non-white people, Jewish yeah. people, non-Christians, uh, uh, liberals, leftists, get, uh, people in the LGBT community... It's basically just a Nazi wet dream. Yeah. Thanks to the haters, the skeptics, the deniers. It's the, it's the scorn and doubt poured upon this just as much in a sense as the love that has made it a pleasure to prove people wrong. But it's also... <laughs> it's also those, those of you who have been keeping me accountable. I've always said on the show, and sometimes in, in strong language, sometimes in a way that offends people, that tough love is the love that matters. And my readers and listeners have given me just that. They've given me a lot of tough love, and without that, I don't know if I'd be here today. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, I woke up in, in more of a prayerful mood than a celebratory one. It's interesting, it's interesting how much of the grift is involved in him trying to adopt the affectations of someone who's moved spiritually, but he's not selling it. Yeah. It's very weird, because I've seen, yeah. I've seen, you and I collectively have probably seen more evangelical, even Catholic, whatever, yeah. Protestant, any sort of religious grifter, we've collectively probably seen more than the vast majority of people. So Yeah, I, yeah, I, I would say so, and, and especially because, like, even if you watched everything we've ever put out, we do, we watch things that we don't end yeah. up putting out, so it's like... So, I would think that you and I are pretty good at telling when it's a grifter versus someone who genuinely believes the things that they're saying. Oh, yeah, this is not Ray Comfort. No, this feels like a cynical, yeah. I need money right now, so I'm okay. going to pretend to be straight so I can get that anti-gay well, money. You haven't gotten to the, to the juice yet. I have not. The juice is coming. Because I know that I have a responsibility, a spiritual and moral obligation. Mm -hmm. to make good to the people I've hurt and to reach minds that I haven't touched yet and offer them help if that phrasing concerns me <laughs> if I can to embark on the same journey that I am currently engaged on 
And this... Wow, he really likes those glasses as props. He loves them, yeah. I feel yeah. that. Honestly, I get it. But, like, he, if you overdo it, then it's clear that they're just props and you look stupid. Right. The message today is, is, is for you. If you... If you're one of those people that thinks of themselves as, as gay... But in the back of your mind, something's always not quite been right about it. You've sort of maybe known you're that this is not paying. Really what you want. <laughs> maybe society has pretty consistently told you, or at least certain parts of society have told you, that your identity is shitty and you're going to hell, and that's causing some self-hate that you need to work through with a therapist. That or, could be it. Or could be also your sexuality is more fluid than you're giving it credit for, and you could just whatever urges you got. Whatever sexual feeling, if something makes your loins jiggle, then that's the jiggly loins business. That's it's 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 an innate thing. You don't have to fight it. Just be like, this is who I am. If I've... he's genuinely not gay, which is not the case, if he was genuinely not gay, and he's just like, you know what? Maybe maybe I was just like uh, 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 seeking that out because uh, it didn't feel right to be with women. But I don't, I don't know. Like, th there's a way that your sexuality sure. can work I, out. I sure, can even... it would be valid. But like, what the. Like, my cousin, for instance, came out as a lesbian when she was in her probably early 20s-ish or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she dated exclusively women. But um, somewhere in the last three or four years, she married her husband. And I asked her about it just because I was curious and, you know, we're close enough that I can ask that and not have it be weird. She was one of the first sure. people I came out to. Um, and she basically said to me, well, over time I just figured out that, like, it, the, the gender doesn't really matter to me. It's more about the person. Right? So people's understanding sure. of their own feelings can change yeah, over that's, time. That's, that's pan. Pretty um, much. But I, I just find it incredibly hard to believe that Milo does not find any attraction to men anymore. Especially his husband. Yeah. Like, I just... I'm sure that's not the case. I'm sure it isn't. It just feels like, in my experience, and this is entirely based on anecdotes, but... When I've seen people have re revelations or changes in their perceived sexuality, yeah. it's generally more open, not more closed, if that makes right. sense. Yeah. Perhaps you've looked at gay pride as I have, with a mix of consternation and horror. Something, something twists in the pit of your stomach when you see it. Yeah, that's the internalized homophobia. That's probably not good for you, mm -hmm. Milo. <laughs> Well, if that oh, the glasses went back on. This should there be. A, they are. This needs to be glasses a, watch. A drinking hold on, hold game on. or a smoking I'll, I'll, game. Every I'll, time I'll, he fucks with the glasses, you gotta take a shot. <laughs> I will try to mirror the glasses at this point. Okay. I will try to. Yeah. In and out. I'll join you. Okay. Glasses on. It does describe you, and even if it doesn't, I have good news for you, which is that born this way is a lie. <laughs> it's propaganda. It's not true. You can get better. He, he tries so change. hard. You can live as you were always supposed to. And I can't see anything. Oh, that's a good pause. <laughs> that's what he looked like when he got home with his uh, roommate later, too. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. And when you do that, everything in your life will start to get better. It has for me. I've been very blessed in my life to uh, have enjoyed enormous success in various endeavors, <laughs> some failures in others. And now I feel a compulsion to share okay. my journey and my message with others. A month or so ago, I tossed my engagement ring into the Pacific Ocean. By the way, I've seen that video. I don't think it even looks like he actually throws the ring. <laughs> I find it a little hard to believe that Milo, who's probably strapped for cash, is throwing away an engagement ring instead of pawning it. Uh, eh. He's he's got his thespian shit going on right now. A lot of, a lot of putting on an act here. And I moved to Florida. I'm the least gay state possible. That's I moved true. to Florida. I don't know a single gay in Florida. That's true. Here, partly, to share my testimony uh, here on True News, but also to open a center 
a clinic for other men who have been suffering from sex. There it is. There's going to be accusations of him abusing young men before the end of next year, aren't there? Oh, I hope not. I really hope not. So, he's opening a, uh, a clinic, you see. Because we already know he's talked about thinking relationships between older gay men and gay underage yeah. guys. Yeah. Like, I don't even remember it's the age fine. range he said. Something between, like, 12 and 18 or whatever. Yeah. He thinks that's fine. He mm -hmm. said that before. Yep. And now he's going to open a center where he brings in... I'm sure they'll also be adult gay people, but he's going to probably also deal with young gay people, and that's going to be bad. Has anyone else oh, yeah. seen the movie, but I'm a cheerleader? It's going to be that, but without the jokes. It's just going to no. be bad. High octane horse meat with the 499. Friendly reminder that Milo coincidentally went ex-gay right when UK Christians started to freak out about conversion therapy possibly being banned. Wait a minute. Are you implying that Milo is cynically using this to make money off of idiots? Mm, I don't know. Does it sound like Milo? Same sex attractions. By the way, have you seen the movie, But I'm a Cheerleader, Jake? I have not, no. I'd highly recommend it. It's a very good movie. But it's, I'm a Cheerleader. It's a sort of romantic comedy um, from the early Oh, Natasha Leone. Yeah. I'm a big fan of her. She's it's, like sneaky good looking. Uh, it's about Isn't a... Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's about a gay conversion camp and uh, two women meet at the gay conversion camp and fall Wait, in love. Wait, is she the main character? She is. Um, she was also in Russian Doll, right? Mm -hmm. Is she the main character in Russian Doll? I, which I didn't, I didn't look watch all the way through. Which I should. I didn't either. I think I, I, think I just watched like a part of the first episode and then just stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. There be lesbians in it. Mm -hmm. I got it. Ooh, and dudes in mesh. Oh, sunshine from uh, uh remember the Titans. Uh, Do that? Donnie. Oh gosh, what's his name? I don't know. The guy who's right there. Click on the Donnie blue. Bosco. Is. is that his name from Hook? The guy who well, plays uh, Rufio. Rufio. Well, no, Rufio. Rufio's Rufio. here. But, but more important, more importantly, the backup or the the starting quarterback for the for the Titans and remember the Titans. Okay, sunshine. All right. I'd uh, highly recommend this movie, though. It's good. It's very funny. RuPaul is in it, and I know RuPaul has a complicated <laughs> relationship complicated. with the trans is community. It complicated is a... Is a uh, <laughs> Dante a Bosco. Say that. Uh, but I, I, he, he's in the movie as one of the counselors, and I, I think it's funny. Uh, I'd recommend, but I'm a cheerleader. Is it Clea or Clea Duvall? I don't know. Uh, that is the... Uh, 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 the love interest in this movie. She has the uh, the greasy look in the '90s. That's an interesting. The late two or early two thousands was a uh, was a weird weird time. And anyway. she's got like a weird pastel color scheme. It's all really vibrant pinks and Bl the blues purples and the 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 teals and the aquas. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Anyway, back to back to pain. No more happiness. Back I think the glasses are about to come back off. Ah, now we started right. Oh, we did them. We did it. Raising money. Use fundraising has begun. Oh, you fundraising. <laughs> oh, yeah, surpri surprising. Oh. He's fundraising his project. You wow. can't just do it on your own with all that uh, grift money. Okay, interesting. We, over summer, will be interviewing therapists and thinking about where in Florida we should call home. Does this count as not being... So we're not quite open yet. And therefore today, my message to you is, for now, merely one of hope. <laughs> this There's does not hope. have to be your life. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird that, that like, loving a man... Or even just lusting with a man is like is like spooky. Yeah, that's spooky to people. Oh, I'm trying. I know I don't even put these back on. I just can't see anything. Uh, uh, I'm I'm straight. I've been I've 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 never been titillated by a man. But if it happens, I'm not gonna be like, ah, oh, shit. Now I'm gay. 
it's gonna be like finally like a, a some look it happened like like oh you're a beautiful person and i can appreciate that that's fine what's wrong what's wrong with fucking just enjoying the aesthetics of another human being it's so weird if you don't so if weird. you don't get a little bit at least by curious by the time you die i failed as a friend we got to find you someone out there that makes you go it, ooh is by curious i have to experience attraction or is by curious hmm i wonder if i'm by that's a good question. I guess I don't because know. I've, because I've tried to analyze that before. It just doesn't work for me. I, 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 I need to find a man that can titillate you. That's my goal in life from now on. I mean, is I mean to get anytime, Jake's, anytime Jake, I find Jake, attraction in someone that is a man, it's usually because they're in drag. So it's one like, day like, I'm going to no, show you a picture of a man that's going to make your pee-pee move. With and that'll be my lifetime. Involved? Yes. Yes, I will do it. I will do it. Okay. All right. Harvest what if your okay? Man what picks. if it's what if it's like a femme boy? What if it's like a femme boy? Yeah, I don't really like like little twinky boys. That's not, okay. No, 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 that's oh, but see that that implies you like you you like uh, you like I feel like, you I like, like beefy I feel men. Like, well, okay. So so for me, I feel like because of the way that I was raised in jock culture, I would have more of an affinity for a hulky a hulky piece of man meat, right? But it hasn't happened for me yet. Okay. We gotta find right. someone who's the right mix of, like, in, I can in recognize... shape. Maybe I think I think with your daddy issues, a little bit uh, some, <laughs> some chest hair would would help. I can um, recognize I can recognize when men are conventionally attractive. I can't pick out like what's sexy about them. Like sexy isn't a thing I think of when I think of a man. I think oh that guy's a good looking dude, but but then there's women that are like oh yeah it's sexy. You know what's weird that yeah. I noticed after I started taking hormones. In me? No, not about you. Oh. oh, okay. I was like, I don't know. The way dudes smell. Yeah. Wait, I can't put these on. I'm just really de desperate one to see time, any something. One time I was, this was after I had started taking hormones. Mm -hmm. I, this is. Did you sniff this me? This is maybe, no, this is not about oh, you. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was walking around and there was a guy who was like an attractive guy. And he had clearly just got off of work at some manual labor Ooh, he was or something. Sweaty. He was pretty sweaty. He was just in like a t-shirt and stuff. And I walked by him and like, <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't like sniffing him, but I walked by right. and he had an you odor. people sometimes, yeah. And, and you were like, my brain went, shit. oh. <laughs> it was see, very I weird. That, see, see, that happens uh, 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 with the ladies. So. Okay. Not, not necessarily sweaty or working out, but like the natural smell of a yeah. person i that's never happened for me for yeah no like i like how right. baja smells yeah uh i'm gonna have to take a whiff next time of who i'm gonna have to, <laughs> to, have to smell baja <laughs> yeah you smell really good baja <laughs> please don't smell baja it's a very it's a very platonic sniff look that's it's just very important <laughs> we gotta sniff each other we have to everyone gets the smell of everybody okay <laughs> I, I really want to put these on. I cannot see anything. Okay, go. <laughs> Almost done. Let's see how close I have to get before I can read that. I've been where you are now, and right I here. know what keeps you up at night. I know what haunts and torments you, and it doesn't have Dick? to be the end. It doesn't have to wait. just be this for you. Are, wait, wait. Would, would, would anyone describe their experience with any form of sexuality as being haunted by that sexuality? I don't... I just... Does this, that doesn't seem, like, accurate. I don't know. Like, just thinking about sex at night is not abnormal, right? I don't think so. Right? Okay. All right. That's how I lull myself to sleep. I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't you have sexomnia? Uh, that is a thing that, from time to time, I have been known to, uh pork in my sleep okay do you genuinely like, not remember and you're not conscious during it like for yeah. realsies mm -hmm. it's happened a couple different times so it's strange been, like, like full on it's not super like some people have it really bad where they like fucking sleepwalk and like yeah that's not me but um, but you like success and it doesn't happen very, okay let it me happen often it happened it ha it's happened like a handful of like, times it does happen okay so you're not conscious but you're apparently on some level lucid enough that you are able to perform sex 
in like accurately. Like you're like, well, yep. Well, it's not like it's not like I can bust out anything you're really probably gonna enjoy if you're no, my partner, right? But you like, you are, you find the target and you and you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I, I have I have uh, I have. Uh, um, <laughs> So I, I think another really funny part about it is, I guess I say shit that I would never actually say, like, <laughs> even consciously. So so I, I uh, one time um, uh, years ago, uh, this was a, a X X X or something like that down the line. Um, um, I guess I grabbed a titty and went, Fuck yeah, like <laughs> that's not. I don't I don't genuinely feel that on the inside. You know what I mean? But that's hilarious. You I think that's great. The tit and went, fuck yeah. Not like I guess it was like fuck yeah, like, like but or hell yeah or something like that. But that's fucking what? I would never say that. Like even subconsciously, it's not like I touch a titty and go, fuck yeah. Like I've been there before. It's it's I love titties, but like it's not like mind changing. I don't I, like my brain doesn't stop working. Who, who you said a titty? get me. Get me. I said, get me. What I don't, the I don't know. fuck does that even mean? She moved the blanket from his junk and said, get me. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah. I'm not embarrassed at all. I will fuck unconsciously. All right? Let me, let's be clear. Did it work? Did you, in fact, get him? Because if so, like, if, if it worked. If I recall worked, correctly, I woke up to being gotten. Okay. Well, I can't read chat unless I'm really close to it. I think it worked. I guess you need you need to you need to just it's yeah. Uh, that's real. I mean, it's, this is not. I'm not making this up. This is not a bit. I can't. I, I keep I keep looking. I keep looking for at chat. I can't read shit, bro. Okay. Get me. We're gonna make this Jake's new catchphrase. Get me well, emo see, when. See, see, but that's not. But my catchphrase wouldn't be, like in the in. I don't know. Like, just even subconsciously, that's not something that I think. So that's so weird that that happens, right? It must be. You said it. Well, I I know it. Okay, so I, like, at my most honest with everybody about how I would talk, it's not, those words aren't in my brain. I'm not, I'm not suppressing get me. You know what I mean? I'm not suppressing fuck yeah. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. So I'm wondering where that comes from. That's so weird. Uh, Mendacious C of the Golden Rents with New Zealand $5 is As Jake said that, he was wearing a backwards cap and making a backwards peace sign with his spare hand. Get me? Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would be a fucked up bit. Yeah, no. Um, in fact, I've had uh, partners, uh, uh, including Sarah right now, that's like, is this like a violation of consent if things happen? It's like, nah, you have consent. It's fine. Uh, uh, I'm not really concerned with it. If I, you could push me off though. You don't have to, because sometimes my hand might wander. If you don't want that shit, just get rid of it. That's fine. I'm not trying. I've never done it with anyone I, I didn't already have sex with though. So it's not like been like that. So that's good, right? Yeah. That's good. That's never happened. Because I've slept in rooms in and in beds with my guy friends. Well, like, you're you know, not Dave, you're you know, not attracted Rob. to guys. So. I know, but like, I'm wondering if like, does my sleepy sex brain even know? <laughs> Your sleepy sex to? brain says, "Get me fuck and yeah. fuck yeah." Maybe it also like maybe he's gonna grab a dick. I don't know. So I'm I'm really glad I haven't like like harassed any of my guy friends or anything. So that's that's good. It's never happened, but uh, yeah, I do that. That's a real thing. It's it is called sex omnia. I have a very mild form of it. That's a real thing. Get me. Let's finish this stupid Milo video. <laughs> yeah, oh. He's so serious. So, watch this space. The space. Try in whatever small way you can to make changes in your life. Seek out- Oh, they're back on. Thank goodness. The advice of your priests. Keep watching what advice we're doing. Advice of your priests. That's not a good call. Here at True News and-, and you know, follow what Get I'm me as Jake's consent in phrase. The, <laughs> <laughs> the safe word is fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't think that was the safe word in that case. That safe word turns it off. This one turned it on. <laughs> Smith Black with a $5 dude. Not to be mean, but you look like Jeremy with no glasses. It's almost like you came from the same womb. I don't think I look like Jeremy. I think I look like the guy from um, American Choppers. You know, the son? Like the, yeah. Look at the meme from American Choppers and look at me. 
It's not far off. If I was wearing like a hat, I think I might have a hat. Do I have a hat? Here, let me put a hat on for you. Ah. Oh God! My mic fell. That's my fault. I'm, I'm I apologize for that noise. <sighs> okay. Like, come on, right? I just build choppers and I yell at my dad. That's all I do. Butterhead. I love you. And I'm going to do everything I can to provide you with the tools you need to get oh, thanks, better. <clears throat> because what you feel at the moment. God damn it. <laughs> he took the glasses off. Oh, fuck. Just put them back on. I'm going to get a headache. Is a, an inexorable and unavoidable sexuality is just. If he puts these back on in the next right? 15 seconds. You're gonna be mad. Product of trauma that you might not even realize that you suffered, but you did. Mm. I don't, again, he's implying that the only possible reason you might be not straight is trauma. It can't just be that you're attracted to people of the same sex or either sex or any gender or whatever. It has to be trauma based, Jesus. I'm gonna help you. Okay. I find that interesting too, because like, obviously this is a grift. Milo has engaged right. in in sexual acts with other men, right? Of course. Yeah. He knows he's into it. Right. So why why would he see this as trauma based and not something that's just enjoyable? I don't know. I don't know. In the meantime, God bless you. And uh, like I said, watch this space. Fucking shut up. Jesus, He's, Milo. Watch this space. He's, start, he's starting to use, like... <laughs> I don't know. Like like language to make him feel, like, uh, 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 more more conscientious, uh, conscientious than he is. He did uh, inter an interview with Baked Alaska as well. Oh, yeah. Baked Alaska oh, yeah. is such an idiot. We're not going to watch this, are we? Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at the look at what Milo is wearing. That is the outfit of the straightest straight man. Well, he's still got style, okay? I have an itch. Uh oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, oh. Um maybe that's why Jeremy's wife goes and gets pizza with me so often though. That must be it. We're just platonic friends, but it makes him very insecure. If you're watching this on YouTube, check us out uh, on YouTube.com slash Hannah Reloaded, YouTube.com slash Actual Jake, Twitch.com slash Hannah Reloaded, and Twitch.com slash Actual Jake. Oh. Come to Twitch.tv slash Actual Jake. Right? I, I apologize. Uh, 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 where you can see me get my itchies on there as well. Oh, yeah. Do you have a, do you have a back scratcher at your desk? I don't. Oh, why? If I needed to, I could use this. No. The gavel? Yeah. What is it? No. Oh yeah. I could t I could get a back scratch forever. I could just get a forever back scratch. Just rip my skin right off. Don't need them. Don't need skin there. <sighs> is that the end of the video? Now it is.